one of the perennial favorite American spice blends of the 20th century has been Beau Monde, which is most often translated as Beautiful World, but a better translation would be Good Culture. Recipes vary, but Spice Islands has been selling their version of the spice since the days of your great-grandmother. Their version is mostly salt, sugar, and MSG, by the way. This is my version, which is another example of a revolutionary technique I explain in depth in Volume 3 of my cookbook series. Basically, the idea is the same as the British used with turmeric as a medium for manufacturing curry powder if you've read Volume 2 of my series. I took that basic idea and used it to create a broad range of seasoning mixes that are unlike anything you've ever tried before. Uh, the first part of this recipe is uh, strange, but actually quite simple. I've got uh, 15 grams of arugula here. You can use wilted arugula that's old, past its prime. It'll be just fine. I happen to have very fresh arugula because that's what I, I just went out to get it to make this for the video. But uh, if I had arugula that had been sitting in the fridge for three or four days, I'd use it. That That's perfectly fine. Uh, I have some dried portini mushrooms here. Uh, these are ones we dried ourselves from uh, last fall. You can buy portini mushrooms in, in any store. Um, and amaranth flour. Now, this is another case where you can, you can make a substitution. You can use regular old plain AP flour for this. It'll still come out okay. Amaranth is going to add a lot of flavor to this. And if you're not familiar with this ingredient, read the, uh, the information at the beginning of this video. I've already weighed out 30 grams, uh, about an ounce of the amaranth flour into the food processor bowl. I'm going to add, just crumble up some of these uh, dried mushrooms in it. The food processor will do the rest of the work and uh, the arugula, of course. And we want to process this as fine as possible. Then get a very large nonstick skillet and uh, pour it out onto that along with the salt and we've got it on a medium low flame here about number four out of ten and you're going to stir this around keep an eye on it now these mushrooms are not powdered don't put the mushrooms in electric spice mill first because it'll, it'll make it too fine and they'll actually burn so you want little pieces of mushroom they're going to be cooked along with this and uh, if you have an infrared thermometer here, this is a good time to keep an eye on the temperature. Use it. You want to keep the temperature about 88 degrees Celsius, about 190 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't, you just have to use common sense. Keep the temperature on the stove medium low. And keep an eye on it here. It's not up there yet. It's kind of like in Back to the Future. When you get up to 88 degrees Celsius, 88 miles an hour, then you're going to begin um, counting the time. You're going to keep it at around that temperature for about 15 minutes and uh, stir it frequently. The time hasn't started yet because it hasn't reached that temperature yet. Now, if in the process of checking this it goes way too high, I just saw it, it went up to about 95, so I'm lifting the pan off of the heat for uh, a few seconds here. Give it a good stir. You want to try to keep it around this temperature, somewhere around 88, 90 degrees. It, it, just some leeway for, for error. But generally, you want to dry it out slowly to maintain the maximum amount of flavor here, but the minimum amount of moisture. That's what you're trying to do. And it's going to take a little bit of skill here, especially the first couple times you do it to get it right. Now, by the end of this time, the arugula in here should be dry and crumbly. You can tell that when you grind this, it's not going to be sticky mess. It's going to be completely dry. If it's not that way, keep it going longer than 15 minutes. And if you really need to, you can even turn up the heat a little bit more. Take it all the way up to, uh, all even up to 100 degrees Celsius. Um, and it'll be okay, 120 even if you have to, whatever it takes, you need to dry it out. Don't keep it cooking for forever at, at 88 if it's not working. Get it up, get it dry. 15 minutes at 88 should be enough though. In my experience, that's always enough to get it completely dry. But, you know, arugula varies and your experience may be different.
Now while this was drying, I measured out everything else. I've got the uh, the parsley, marjoram, <coughs> celery leaf, dried carrot, which you don't have to use. It's it's a, a nice touch. You don't have to. Uh, the MSG, garlic powder, ground ginger, ground cinnamon, red pepper flakes, and the sugar. So here's the arugula, mushrooms, and um, the flour and here's all the other ingredients. This is straight off the pan. We're going to mix these together while they're still warm. While the, while the mixture from the pan is still warm. And now let it stand like this for uh, about 10 minutes before we grind it. And this should be just about the right capacity for a uh, coffee mill repurposed as a spice mill. We're going to grind this to a fine powder. Then pass it through a sieve. You can use a spoon to help you. And what you usually end up with at the end here are some little bits of, of the ground carrot. Those, those never want to get through completely. And uh, a few specks of the mushroom. You don't want these hard lumps in, in your seasoning mix. So when you get to the end, that's it. This, this just gets discarded. Now what you've got is this beautiful fine powder. We're going to bottle The second volume of my cookbook is now available through Amazon and other booksellers. It covers the YouTube recipes from the last eight months with more in-depth information. I received requests for the procedures on all recipes and I've listened to you. Every recipe has step-by-step -step directions and of course there are recipes that aren't on YouTube. But this is not just a recipe book. Far from it as you can see from some of the topics scrolling by here. I'm certain that anyone who watches my channel and any serious cook will find this book a treasury of useful and new information you won't find anywhere else. If you want to know more about my adventures as a chef around the world and have some great laughs along the way, be sure to check out the video tour of my book, 40 Years in One Night. It's up on YouTube right now. Click the link. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.